Ziva. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? We ready, big brother. It's time to shake it. Don't be scary. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? We ready, big brother. It's time to shake it. Don't be scary. Get on your mark. Hey guys, welcome to Dirty Laundry. I'm your fill-in host, Cody Fisher, and today we are very excited to have with us, straight from New Orleans, the master of bounce, Queen Diva Big Frida, also known as the Dick Eater. Yes, you already know. Big Frida the Queen Diva, straight out of New Orleans, representing, you heard me, doing my little dirty laundry, yes. Indeed. Who that, 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 the right there? Girl, that's Frida the Diva. Get the club hot, make them sweat, catch a fever. Am I famous? You best believe her. Broke, see ya. Don't wanna be ya. Stand on up and don't step on my sneakers. Watch the way you shake, cause the Diva might sneak ya. I was listening to your song, Asses Everywhere, and I was just wondering where you get the inspiration some people have. Their inspiration from like Shakespeare, or Prowse, Walt well, Whitman. I feel you're a little bit more Bukowski. Well, Ass Everywhere. <laughs> It was inspired from a flick, <laughs> strictly a flick. <laughs> I brought okay. a flick and said ass everywhere. And when I saw it, I was like, this is about to be something serious. Just this simple word, ass everywhere, and I just want to ass everywhere. Just like, you know. I feel you, I'm the same way sometimes. Yeah, I'm that way all the time. <laughs> all you got to do is hit the cheeky black class. All you got to do is hit the trigger man. All you got to do is hit a thumb. Who I might be, who I might be. I was reading online that you were like an interior decorator. Yes, the, I, 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 that's, that's true. Do you Give this charge. And you did the mayor. Yeah, I actually for his whole ter term, I was his decorator, did all the parties, all the balls, whatever they had, Gallia that's Hall. That's amazing. Yeah. That's really cool. Does he ever come and see you? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's probably not even in secret? No, but they, I mean, they know about me. They know that I'm an yeah. entertainer and stuff like that, and they yeah. still support me. And like, they're my Facebook friends and all that. That's but. awesome. That's like a huge, like, very supportive community. Yeah, then. definitely. That's great. Do you feel that when you come out here? Do you feel like? Oh, most definitely. Like, I feel a whole lot of support on the road, um, picking up tons and tons of fans, and like people are gravitating to the music and the, you know the culture of New Orleans bounce music, and it's very interesting to me too. Like be from New Orleans, a small hometown, and just like going on the road and everybody um, getting into what I'm bringing, and that, that's that's so you love. Find when you tell us a little bit more about the bounce scene, well, it's been around for over two decades. Yeah. Um, I grew up listening to bounce music my whole life, and um, really interesting to be a part of the legend game now. Yeah, you know, after listening to it for so long and growing up, shaking my ass off it as a young child. And now I'm being an entertainer and being a colleague with so many of those artists that yeah. I listened to as a child. It's just amazing. Is there anyone in particular that when you got to meet them or perform with them, you were just like, oh, this Miss, is crazy? Miss T, Cheeky Black, uh, Fifth Wall Weeby, DJ Jubilee, um, Partners in Crime. Like, all of the ones that I've grown up listening to yeah. as a child. It was just amazing to perform with them for the first time in actual yeah. concert. And like... It just blew my mind. So I'm going to assume that your favorite part of the body is the ass. We can get right into that. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you know, as a white girl, I feel like I got a little bit going on, but, you know, not much. <laughs> you can work it. Everybody has an ass. No oh, matter yeah. what size it is, you can work it. <laughs> Do you have any point? I mean, I'm not. Let me tell you right now, I'm white and half Native American. I have little to no rhythm in me. Do you have any pointers or? It's all in the chakra system. Right, you know, right yeah, like, yeah, something like when you're kind of like, and you're um, like fucking I can't up. even do that. Yes, you can. No, you gotta, am I doing look, this? You're going to use the okay. table as a, like this? Yeah. Uh. And up and down. You oh, up and some, down? Put some work right in here? your knees like, oh. and just and like. And just like this? Am I doing it? You got to. Oh, uh oh. Like you're like fucking, this? like, yes. Oh, okay, like, like, like I'm that. fucking. You got to practice in a mirror, yes. I don't it's in a chakra too much system. anymore, guys. You got to ride that dick, honey, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you have to get on it. I'm going to keep watching your videos. Please. You make it hotter in here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to turn you, am I? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm not at all, honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Never. <laughs> How often do you get hit on on the road? Do you a lot. a lot? Yeah, and I have to turn them down a lot. You do. Yeah. Huh? Boys angry. Yeah. Oh, I can. I mean, I just did it. No, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's not. It's not like that though. It's just like I love my boyfriend, and I'm very. Um, oh, so you're in a committed, loving relationship. Yeah. Good for you. He's right over there too. Oh, hiding the hat. Yeah. Oh, 
a cutie. Yeah. Some people like me are going to die alone, so you're lucky. No, you won't. You're <laughs> cute. You should not die alone. You better get on it, honey. <laughs>